Boy's feminine pixie haircut. When mother took me to her salon, I felt a mix of excitement and apprehension. I had been asking for a boy's haircut for ages, and she assured me that this time it would be exactly what I wanted. She whispered something to the stylist, but I didn't pay much attention, assuming it was just a little instruction. As the stylist worked her magic, I watched chunks of hair falling to the ground. It felt liberating, like shedding an old skin. When the haircut was finally done, I eagerly looked in the mirror, anticipating a cool, masculine style that would make me feel confident and proud. To my surprise, though, the reflection staring back at me had a distinctly different aura. My hair was shorter than ever, cropped close to my head, and styled in a way that had an unmistakable feminine touch. It was a pixie cut, just as I had overheard my mother mention earlier. I couldn't help but feel a twinge of disappointment. While the haircut itself was well done, it wasn't the boyish style I had envisioned. There was something undeniably feminine about it, and I worried about how others would perceive me. However, I decided to give it a chance, hoping it would grow on me. As we left the salon, my mother seemed pleased with the outcome. She was oblivious to the internal conflict brewing within me. We strolled down the busy streets, and that's when I noticed the stairs. People passing by would take a quick glance and then do a double take, their eyes lingering on me longer than I was comfortable with. Some of them even mistook me for a girl and complimented my adorable haircut. Their words only intensified my feelings of confusion and self-consciousness. I longed to be seen as the boy I was, not as someone mistaken for a girl. One day, as we passed a store, a display caught my eye. It was filled with cute feminine outfits, dresses, and accessories. Normally, I wouldn't have paid much attention, but something about the clothes drew me in. They seemed to embody a playful and carefree spirit that I found intriguing. With a mix of curiosity and defiance, I tugged on my mother's sleeve and pointed at the store. She followed my gaze, and a mischievous smile tugged at the corners of her lips. Understanding my unspoken desire, she led me into the store. Inside, we explored the aisles together, picking out clothes that piqued my interest. The sales assistants assumed I was a girl, and I didn't bother correcting them. I wanted to embrace this new experience, to experiment with my appearance and see how it made me feel. As I tried on different outfits, something unexpected happened. Each time I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw glimpses of a person I hadn't fully discovered before, a person who wasn't confined to societal expectations of masculinity or femininity. I saw a reflection of someone who was unique, confident, and unafraid to explore their identity. In that moment, I realized that a haircut and the clothes I wore didn't define who I was. It was my spirit, my dreams, and my actions that truly mattered. I decided to embrace this newfound freedom of expression, allowing myself to step outside the boundaries of traditional gender norms. Walking out of the store with a bag of clothing, I felt a sense of liberation wash over me. I knew that people might continue to mistake me for a girl, but I no longer saw it as a limitation. Instead, I saw it as an opportunity to challenge society's expectations and carve my own path. With my mother's unwavering support, I embarked on a journey of self-discovery, one that allowed me to fully embrace the person I was becoming. And though the road ahead might be filled with uncertainty and judgment, I knew that I had the strength to stay true to myself, no matter what others thought or said. The End